it's Ruth, I hope you're well. Today I'm doing some unicorn nails with a Born Pretty Store stamping plate. I've stamped two of the larger image and three of the repeating image like a bit of variation in the images. Here I'm just showing you adding liquid latex to one nail. I'm going to do a gradient next. I added two layers of each colour in stripes along the sponge. I found that worked best with these colours. This time around I found I needed to sponge on three layers to get the opacity and the blend of colours that I prefer. on the stamp head. This is just my preferred method. I like to be able to place it on with a sticky stamper because that moulds to the shape of my nails. I'm filling in with grey, yellow and then colours that are in the background as well. I used a slightly deeper green because I found that stood out better for the leaves. While I fill these in, I just thought I'd give you a few thoughts about Born Pretty Store plates. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think they stamp really really well, it's a great price, free postage, depending on the time of year you might have to wait a while to receive them and depending on where you are in the world, but again this time with the delivery it came in two weeks and I was very impressed. <laughs> to use grey rather than the cream that I used for the unicorn in the larger image on these smaller images. I just like the way it looked. Over the gradient I'm just adding my regular clear top coat which helps the stamping decal stick on. Once that layer is 90% dry, which takes no time at all, I find seconds, not even minutes, I gently press the stamper onto the nail, or the nail onto the stamper, whichever way is easiest for whichever finger, and the images are stuck on. gradient from the liquid latex that I put around to protect my cuticles and this just means that the stamping also isn't all stuck around the cuticle and there'll just be a tiny bit of cleanup left to do. And I take this little angled brush with a dappen dish with acetone in it and just clean up the excess from around my skin. Then I added Sesh Beat and my camera ran out of space of the memory card. So you don't see all of it. 
I was trying to show everything this time. And then I add my Barry M matte top coat as well, once that was dry. And here's the final design. Hope you like it. Thank you.